Hi, I'm Pete and I'm here to talk to you about wells. So a well is a hole that's made in the ground for the purposes of locating groundwater or to test the materials, the gravel or the rock that the water, the groundwater comes from. So the earth acts like a sponge. It rains and it snows on that sponge year after year. And the water, the rainwater or the melting snow soaks into the ground and eventually, at some, time, some point beneath the ground, all the spaces between the soil particles are filled with water. When they're shallow and it's close to the ground surface, they're filled with air. But when you get to a depth, certain depth, they're filled with water. And at that point in time, we've encountered groundwater. It's like when you're at the beach. If you dig, dig a hole beside the shoreline and you start to dig, the hole is empty, has no water in it. But if you dig down deeper, then water comes into it. So the shallow soil, all those sand particles are filled, the spaces are filled with air, and beneath that, they're filled with water. So I'm going to show you a video of water coming out of fractures in a rock. So this video shows how the water is coming out of a, a, a very discrete or a specific fracture. They're not flowing through all the fractures, not flowing across the whole same fracture. And this is what we need to do. We need to drill wells into the ground to locate that groundwater. Then we can use that groundwater for drinking or washing or for supplying water to our, our community. So I'm gonna to talk to you about three different types of wells today. We're gonna to talk about dug wells. We're gonna talk about monitoring wells and drilled wells. Now all wells have the same two things. That's a casing and a lid. So the casing is what keeps the hole open when you drill a hole into the ground, you have to hold that hole open. And they have a, a lid on it to protect things from falling down into it. So we'll talk about dug wells first. So dug wells are large diameter, large width, they're about a meter and a half wide sometimes. And to hold those large holes open, we either use concrete, cylinders, or sometimes those wells, those holes are actually lined with stones or bricks. And the water flows slowly into them from the bottom. And we use the water during the day and then over during the nighttime, the, the water comes back into the ground. One of the issues with these dug or board wells is that they're fairly shallow. They're maybe 10 meters deep or even shallower in some cases. And because they're shallow, the water quality in those wells could be impacted. They might have bacteria in them. They could have fertilizer if they're in the country. They could have road salt if they're near a road. So sometimes the water quality in those wells could be impacted. Another issue sometimes with those wells is the lids of those wells. Sometimes over time, they can break. So the pictures that I'm showing you now are pictures of things that have fallen into wells. And sometimes people fall into these wells. So we have to be careful that we maintain these wells so that the lid stays secure and nothing falls into them. So the next type of well I want to talk about, it's called a monitoring well. And a monitoring well is a smaller diameter or smaller width. It's only about 15 millimeters or a meter and a, or a centimeter and a half or two centimeters in diameter, but we can drill these to all sorts of different depths. The purpose of these wells are to let us measure water levels and collect water samples from different depths. So this next video is a video of Jeremy showing us how we measure water levels in our monitoring wells. So my name is Jeremy and today I'm at a quarry. Um, I'm here to conduct some groundwater monitoring, which involves taking water levels and groundwater samples. So beside me here, you can see a monitoring well. Now this well uh, is just a white PVC pipe in the ground uh, with a cap on top so that uh, nothing can fall in. Um, this well was constructed before the well regulations were put into place, and so it doesn't have a protective casing around it. Uh, wells that you would see today, they would need to have a protective casing. Uh, so, this is uh, this well is drilled uh, to a shallow depth, 
and then beside me we have a well that's drilled to a deeper depth. And what this allows is for us to understand how groundwater moves uh, in this area. So what we're going to do today is take a water level out of this well. So taking a water level is a fairly simple task. We'll start by taking off this J plug that's uh, protecting the well. And then we're going to take this water level tape. And all we have to do is insert this probe down the well. When this probe reaches the water, it'll send a signal up the tape and it will beep. So let's do that. So you can see it measures to 88 centimeters on the tape and now we need to bring the tape up uh, to find the meter mark so we can get an exact value for our water level. So you can see there 3 meters and 88 centimeters, 3.88 meters is our water level in this particular well and that is measured below the top of the PVC pipe. So always remember to seal the well back up to maintain its integrity and then record your data in your field book. So the third type of well I want to talk about is a drilled well. So we're here at my farm where I live outside the city and, and I have a well. And you can see the well, it has a lid, it has a, a black steel casing. In this case, this well is about 25 meters deep and you can see the lid, it's secure so nothing can fall into it. So drilled wells are, tend to give us better water quality because they're deeper and the water that we're taking is further away from the ground surface so we aren't going to typically have some shallow contamination that affects them. So they supply all the water that we need. We have a pump in the bottom of the well that pumps water into the house. Some of our communities rely on drilled wells like the city of Guelph and the region of Waterloo. And in this case, these wells are a larger diameter and deeper than my well, and they, pro they produce much higher quantities of water. So while my well might provide 20 liters a minute, these municipal wells can pro provide 2,000 liters per minute. So uh, the video that we've got of some municipal wells inside of a well house where you can see these large diameter wells and some of the equipment that we use when the water comes out. Now there's one more type of well I want to talk about and that's called a flowing artesian well. So water flows into a well because of pressure. The water is higher out the water pressure is higher outside the well than in the well and it flows in. And when we pump water out of the ground, we create low pressure so water comes into this well. Now sometimes the pressure is so great beneath the ground, it forces the water all the way up the well casing and out the top and out the surface. So groundwater is something we have to protect. Wells are one of the ways that we take groundwater out of the ground, but they're something that we have to maintain and keep safe so that our water quality is good for us to drink and that we don't take too much water out of the ground. Thanks for joining me.